Shalom Aki, I'm Mr. Yah Batiza. Coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yah Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Striving for the hopeful elect. Enduring all afflictions and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yah Bashim Yah Washai Waha Rakakwadash Barakatham Akim. Alright, as always, you know, we come and make these videos. Some are long and some are short. Today I'm gonna just go into it real quick here in Proverbs 16 and 18, verse 19. And just basically dealing with pride and humbleness. And how remembering we're we're in the flesh, man, and, and, and we're susceptible to a lot of things. You know, even when the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is on us, we're still in this flesh. So, um, we're tempted, okay? And we mess up, we make mistakes. You know, we're flawed creatures. But through the spirit and the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we're being renewed in our, in our minds and correcting and amending our ways, you know, through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh <clears throat> While we're here in Great Babylon, America, you know, spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, okay, where basically it's a, it's the land of confusion, the city of confusion, and we have to maintain ourselves to the best of our ability, being circumspect. Okay, um, so I'm gonna read Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before a salakia. Pride goeth before destruction. And an haughty spirit before a fall. Better is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Alright. So this is uh, a caution. Alright. A scripture of great caution. You know, letting us know that being proud is not a good thing to have. In the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or in the sight of men. Okay? Men have been destroyed because of being proud by other men, being arrogant, speaking lofty, you know? Um, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is warning us of these things, okay? Because whenever a wicked man or a wicked woman goes about her life or his life, not re reaping any uh, repercussions or uh, disciplinary actions from men, from other men, or you know, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Ultimately, they tend to continue in that same pattern. Okay, and it takes experience to know the difference between pride and having uh, self dignity. Or self-respect integrity okay not to be confused well the Lord tells you what the price is for being proud you will be destroyed you may not be killed right off, right off the rip but you will be destroyed in the sense of something's gonna happen some form of calamity okay all right and it says in a haughty spirit before it fall so to avoid these things, as it says in verse 19, better is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly, okay? That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh requires of his men, the elect, all right? Whoever is the hopeful elect, you put on as the hopeful elect, and you're going to put on that humble spirit, man, okay? And that humble spirit doesn't mean that you let people take advantage of you or you know you let a woman walk all over you you know you, you you just hand out your last dollar to every single person no man that you got to be um balanced and circumspect and use proper discretion you can't be simple all right the scriptures tell you who you're supposed to be helping and giving to all right so being humble is that you're being you're using judgment basically you're abusing judgment you're not being rash with your mouth or your emotional or your emotions like you you're using judgment 
wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And you're paying attention to, to the situation. Okay? You know, some people, um, or not some people, but what I've learned, come to learn, I've encountered a lot of different kinds of people being in the truth. And you'll have some people that are considered humble by being quiet, not speaking so much, um, don't ask for too much, but their actions, what are they doing, you know, behind closed doors or what are they, what are they doing when you actually get to know them? You know what I'm saying? So, and you'll see that they're really not that quite humble. Really, they're ignorant. They're proud. They're mischievous. Um, they believe that they're right, that what they do is right and there there's nothing they can do that they they can do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a real it's a thing that could be confused to those that are not too experienced or familiar, you know. Like you can't really um say somebody's humble because they they hand out their last dollar, you know. Um, you can get you can be you can get caught up with somebody you know even the devil will work in that way but it's, it's about using discretion you know what I'm saying and, and, and dealing with the lowly the men and uh, ultimately the elect okay like I said this is this is for us brothers you know you know a caution you know a cautionary scripture that we all know we use we quote you know so it says better is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. And who are the proud? The wicked. Two thirds, you know, the heathens. So who who are the lowly? The brothers, the low the, the elect. That's who we are to uh be humble. We're, we're, we're to be humble and of a meek spirit with all men as much as lieth in you. You know, some people will push you to your limits, man, and you gotta you know, rebuke them, cut them off, you know, put them in their, in their place, you know, but even when you do that, that doesn't mean that you're not being, at the moment, you're not being humble, you know what I'm saying, you're being, you're, you, you're using sharpness and rebuke, but some people will see that and be like, oh, you're not a humble person, that's, that's happened to me many, countless of times, um, because they saw that side of me, well, there's a reason why that side, is, that side came out of me. It's just like going back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh or Yahweh Shai when he was on the earth. They said that he had a devil and he was considered a madman. You know, he would rebuke people, he would cut and offend people. You know, but at the same time, he was a, a, a humble, lowly spirit, a man. But they would confuse it, and, and or they, they wouldn't confuse it, but they would say, Oh, this man, he had a devil. You know, he was a. a Beelzebub. He worked under the spirit of Beelzebub. You know, he wasn't. He, he's not a, no son of God. You know, all because he 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 told them he offended them. He cut them. So it says, better is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly, right, with the elect, than to divide the spoil with the proud. You don't want to, you know, divide with your earnings or your your the things that you've accumulated with the wicked man you know the scriptures say let the filthy be filthy let the ignorant be ignorant okay we're not obligated to to keep continue dealing with you two-thirds you you people that don't want to receive this wisdom knowledge and understanding this new um mindset you know and at the same time you're bettering your life you're making the right choices you're you're being proactive you know, you're not being a sluggard or a, a procrastinator, okay? And, and, and you know, women, you know, you may, even some, some males, men will use this tactic against brothers to make them feel as if they're the bad ones. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that is our filter. This is, this is our defense to know that we aren't going off, okay? So... You know, I just wanted to bring this out to you brothers, man. You know, um, y'all brothers out there, y'all stay strong. You know, the, the, 
you know, where it says then to divide the spoil with the proud, you know, we're dividing this word rightfully, you know, as it says, study to show thyself approved unto the most high, rightly dividing the word of truth, right? So that's what we're dividing this, this word with, man, the elect, you know, we know and come to the understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai by his mercy and grace to, to, um, to divide the spoil amongst the brotherhood, man. Not with the proud, not with the two thirds, all right. Not with these swines, these dogs, these proud, arrogant, wicked two third individual people, man. All right. So I just wanted to bring this out, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to be uh, cautious and.